Good morning and welcome back. Guess what time it is? Kenny time. <laughs> hey, Kenny. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. We are celebrating a Browns victory <laughs> of a different sort. The taste of the Browns event is happening today. And as you know, a big partner, Cleveland Food Bank. And of course, you couldn't say Cleveland Food Bank and not say Chris Morris. Okay. Ah, good morning. Good morning, good Kenny. You, We're so dear. glad to have yes, you here. Love the new digs. Oh, well, I haven't thank you. been here. It's been a year. I know. It's been a year since we opened our yeah. new partner distribution hub. And the good news is that having this additional capacity is really working. Okay. Um, we distributed almost 52 million Come pounds with. of food this year. Okay, uh, and that's, that's three awesome. and a half million more pounds of food than we did last year in, in large part because of this additional capacity and space. Three that and a food, half course, million more. More, wow. more. And that food, of course, went out to our amazing network of about a thousand program partners across mm -hmm. six county, a six county service area. So, okay. you know, this is the hub where we're bringing in food from the food industry, from the government, yeah. where we're buying food, okay. uh, where volunteers are sorting and repackaging it, we're making it into meals, and then we're distributing it across Northeast Ohio. Very neat. And this, your last space was about 120,000 yep. square feet. This yep. one is... And this one is 197,000 square feet. Wow. And the things that we're really the most excited about are not just the square footage, but uh, the additional cold and frozen storage space so we can provide more fresh produce, mm -hmm. more meat, more dairy, and a much larger production kitchen. Um, wow. We're currently making about 7,500 meals a day in that kitchen. Um, and we know that more meals are needed. So it and gives us the space to do more. Right, too, Kristen. So about 75. Hundred and this facility, the other facility maxed, you could make how many? The capacity of our old kitchen was 4,000 meals a day. Wow, look yeah. at you guys. So, you know, I wish there wasn't so much need out there, but there is. Families okay. are really struggling with higher costs of living okay. um, and wages that just haven't quite kept up. And so mm. we're actually setting new records every month for the number of people that our agency network is serving. And that's unfortunate, yeah. but it's why community support is so important okay. and why we got Taste of the Browns tonight. There you go. And we're going to talk about about that. We're going to yeah. have some of the chefs come in. We're going to take a little tour. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to be a big tour because this place is insane. <laughs> um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about what we're going to do with the old facility. Yes. Uh, groundbreaking, well, ribbon cutting next month. That's ribbon huge. cutting next month. Huge. Yes. See, it's a Browns victory. See, the glass is half full. The Browns Absolutely. are winning. We love the Browns. They're okay. so good at the food bank in our Taste community. Taste of the Browns, but it's a still Browns <laughs> victory. All right, we're going to go back to you guys in the studio. <laughs>